So we've all seen some really dumb and stupid challenges come out of TikTok, and these challenges really make you wonder how humans have managed to devolve so much, yet we're somehow still able to survive. I mean, there are just so many stupid and, quite frankly, dangerous challenges that have come out of TikTok. The Tide Pod Challenge, the Skull Breaker Challenge, and now the newest and worst challenge yet, the Holocaust Challenge. You heard that right. There's a challenge currently going around on TikTok where people are dressing up and playing as Holocaust victims that go through Auschwitz, Bergen-Belsen, or some other Nazi concentration camp. Jesus Christ, dude. This challenge really does show that people will do anything for views. Now, I'm not offended, I'm just disappointed that humanity has stooped so low that we're now mocking the deaths and experiences of millions of people for views. I'd like to think that when these people were recording themselves role-playing as Holocaust victims, there was at least one thought in the back of their minds being like, maybe I shouldn't do this. This is a fucking terrible idea. Now, apparently the people doing this challenge are saying that it's for educational purposes, which I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on because the Holocaust is one of the main things that you learn about in school, or at least in high school. You know, if I wanted to learn about the Holocaust, I'd look up a YouTube video that talks about it, or maybe I'd go to Google and look up an article that talks about it. Why the hell would I go to TikTok of all places to learn about the Holocaust or any other historical event? I mean, TikTok isn't exactly known for being educational, but it's more well known known for being the definition of cringe. Now, maybe these people think that they're bringing awareness to the Holocaust, and if that's the case, why? You learn about what the Holocaust was, what happened, how many people died, so on and so forth in school. Also, what goes through your head to make you think that it's an okay thing to do? Honestly, you gotta think about the fact that these people are sitting down, putting on makeup and outfits to make themselves look like a Holocaust victim, and the entire time they're doing that, they're just like, yeah, this is perfectly fine. If they really wanted to educate people on what the Nazis did to innocent people during the 1930s and 40s, then they would educate them. And the only reason that these people are doing this challenge is for views. That's it. Not to educate, not to spread awareness, but for the views, likes, and shares. And the worst part is that people are giving it to them. These videos that I'm seeing are getting thousands of views and hundreds of likes and comments. Now, I have seen some of these videos and holy shit, they are just top tier cringe. I'd honestly rather re-watch the first episode of Attaway General. Now, we're only going to watch one of these videos and prepare yourselves for what we're about to witness because, as I said earlier, this is top tier cringe. Also, I'm going to mute the audio in the video because it has copyrighted music, so yeah. Could you imagine if a Holocaust survivor saw this video, just watching a random teenager mock their experience for views? Because honestly, if I was a Holocaust survivor and I saw this video, I'd be really pissed off. Like, this is just disgusting. There's really no other way to put it. And to be honest, I'm not that surprised that this is a thing. I mean, this is a TikTok challenge we're talking about. I feel like in the future, we're gonna see stuff like the no steering challenge, where you get in a car and you try to drive it without touching the steering wheel, and you see how long you can go without crashing into anything. Oh, great. I think I just gave some people ideas. Cloud chasing is an actual disease, possibly more deadly than COVID-19. I've seen videos of people literally lighting themselves on fire, all just for some extra clicks on their video. It really blows my mind how far people are willing to go just to get some attention. And this trend on TikTok is a great example of that. And with that being said, that is all the time I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below. And thank you guys for the recent support on the channel. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.